to talk about our text area, which is our multi-line text box. This component, yeah, you see is our big um, tabular. We have many attributes here. For the attribute value of this text area, it's to show the content of the input box placeholder. Um, is the placeholder when the, the input box is empty, placeholder style to specify the style of the placeholder, placeholder class um, to specify the style class of the placeholder, disabled to see whether to disable the text area or not. Max length is the, yeah, it means the maximum input length when we set this max length to minus one, the maximum length is not limited. Yeah, so you see, if we can not have a general idea of the size, yeah, um, at first, we may set the max length to minus one. We have the auto focus to pour up the keyboard, focus auto height, whether to increase the height automatically, style height that not take effect when auto height is set. We have the, the attribute fixed. Um, yeah, if the text area is in a position, fixed area, we need to display the specified attribute fixed as true. We have the attribute cursor spacing to specify the distance between the cursor and the keyboard in pixels. We take the minimum of the distance between the text area and the button and, sorry, I put it, uh, and the distance specified by cursor spacing as the distance between the cursor and the keyboard. Yeah, um, this cursor, Show confirm bar whether to display the column with the finished button with the finish button or above the keyboard. Yeah, um, you see <coughs> this show confirm bar before we have something similar with this. We have a effect with the finish bar with the um change line bar, with change line button, et cetera. We have the selection start to show the starting position of the cursor. It is valid during automatic aggregation. And we must use this attribute in conjunction with selection end. And the selection end is the end position of the cursor. It is valid during automatic aggregation. We have adjust position to see whether to automatically push up the, the page when the keyboard pops up. We have bound focus. It is triggered when the input box is focused. And bind blur triggered when the input box loses focus. We have bound line change. It is called when the number of lines in the input box changes. We have bound input. When the keyboard input, the input event is triggered. And here, yeah, you see the return value of the bind input processing function will not be reflected on the text area. We have bind confirm. When we click finish, the confirm event is triggered. Yeah, you see here, we have a simple application of text area. A <coughs> it is a small program form component as we see here, the effect. Mm, yeah, you see here, <coughs> we have these attributes. And according to this, these are three types of um, text area. 
which attributes yeah you can take a picture or a character of this table and then you come here to see or to yeah to think it over which kind of attributes will be used here for example for the first for the first one yeah the first type is <coughs> it means by default <coughs> we have only one line here but it can become higher automatically according to the real size so what kind of attribute may be used here Is it clear my question? A text attribute? Yeah, which attribute may be used here for uh, realizing the first type of text area? Yeah, you see um, automatic, um, yeah, by default, we have only one line here, but this space can be changed according to the real size of the text. Yeah, you see here, as we have, we have four lines of text and it can be higher than the default height. So which attribute may be used to realize this text area? Multi line. Multi line. You this this one. Yeah, exactly. Well, to increase automatic, it does not take effect when auto height is use auto height to realize this one. Yeah, we all do uh, the Excel science together later. And now for this one, to customize the stakeholder, the yeah. In the placeholder you see here um by default the placeholder the color of it is gray but here it is red yeah so which which attribute may be used here to customize this placeholder color It should be color, though, she. Color? Mm, in this table? Color? You see, for text no, area, uh, we have these attributes. Yeah. So these are the only attributes that we have. We don't have any more, Lao Xi. Pardon? We, we don't have any more attributes outside of these ones. Yeah, we have just these attributes for this text area component. On, in that case, it Sorry, it is stopped. It should be which one? Placeholder style. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, um, Kaya, exactly. We can use placeholder this placeholder style attribute to set the color of this this um, yeah um, placeholder. And then for this one, yeah, it's easy. <laughs> this 
this it means that the text area is disabled. We cannot change it. So which attribute may be used here? Of course, it's disabled. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. So you see here in this practice, we are uh, see the usage of placeholder style disabled and auto height. Yeah, we are see it rapidly. Oh, sorry, I have just yeah. Here is another project that I tried. Oh, no, oh, it's this one. Yeah, I need to delete the other that one to be. Maybe. Oh, that blah is this one that I have created. No, I think not this one. My project. Yeah, I need to delete this project. Okay, um, you see, here we have our style. Um, yet yeah, here is the eighth, ninth section. We we'll use ten sec um tenth part text area application Uh, and we'll do, yeah, as usual, we'll um, write the subtitle for each um, example. The first one is height, yeah, auto changed. Exterior. Yeah, you see, we use the uh, the attributes just like this. We set it, <coughs> we get it here, and then we put placeholder, placeholder. Yeah, we say <coughs> by default one line. That can be changed automatically, automatic, automatic. Automatically, okay. Um, this is for the first type. And then, okay, we have a second and third type. We are just a corporate. It's our second one. Um, Placeholder color changed. Text area. Um, we put the, we don't need auto height here anymore. Oh, la. Yeah, I just <coughs> copied one time. It doesn't matter. By default, placeholder we are set. Um, we are not. Mm, here, color 
is changed, for example, to red, just like in the code. And then we put, oh uh, yeah, like what we have said, play, um, placeholder style, and we set the color. We set it as red. Okay, it's okay for second style, the second part, and for the third part, <laughs> third type, we have said that here is disabled. Here, yeah. Here is disabled. This text area is disabled. And then we put this attribute here. And then in question SS, uh, we can set the, uh, yeah, <laughs> the style of text area. Can set it one hundred percent, for example, and then we set the border. Yeah, we have set the color, the border, and yeah, we are right. You see here three types. Here it can be, um, yeah. You, you see, we can just follow up. <laughs> we can just uh, tap, and yeah, you see. Have you seen it? It um, it's just uh, um, the line. We have just changed the line, um, and the size of the height of this text area is mm -hmm. changed. Okay. Automatically. And yeah, here, the second one, the placeholder here, you see this part, it's by default, it's like this gray, but it is changed to red. Um, which is according to this part, this code. And then this part, it is disabled. That's those, these three types of text area. Okay, um, is it clear for this part? Yes, Laoshi. Okay, thank you, Kaya. Yes, Laoshi. Yeah, thank you, Saji. Then we are passed to the next part, um, navigation component. For this part, yeah, you see the navigation component navigator, it is used to click the jump page link and its corresponding attributes are shown here in this table, target, URL, open type, uh, and the note of each attribute on which target the jump occurs, the current applet is defaulted, the jump link addressing the current applet. Uh, and for this open type, there are five ways to jump. Yeah, you see these attributes. And we have, as saying here, we have five ways to jump for the open uh, type. Here, we have these five values corresponding to the open type attribute. We have the attribute navigate, 
Uh, it is the default value. It means to jump to our new page to open the content of the new address. It is equivalent to this function or this function. We have the attribute redirect to reopen the content of the new address on the current page. We have switch tab to switch the tab panel um, to jump to the specified tab page and reopen the new address content. We have relaunch to switch the tab panel. Um, yeah, and it means to jump to the specified tab page and reopen the new address content. We have the navigate back, return to the previous page. Yeah, we have these five values corresponding to the open type attribute. And yeah, you see this code, it indicates that the button component button is embedded in the navigation component navigator to realize the jump function. The current navigator component does not declare the open type attribute. So it represents the default situation. That means we jump to a new page to open this. Yeah, you see in our example, we have already used these things as we have created, yeah, we have created the component one, component two, different pages. And we can also um, pass data to a new page with this former form. Here we have uh, an example to pass data. And yeah, we have a simple application of the small program navigation component navigator. Yeah. Um, Okay, we are past this part um, as we have already, in fact, we have already used them. Now we pass to uh, media components. Uh, yeah, for the moment, we have four types of media components, audio, image, video, and camera. Uh, and we have their corresponding components, audio component, image component, video component, and camera component. For the first one, audio, it is our audio component. And we can use this component to play local or network audio. We have these attributes in this table, uh, like, ID of the uh, of audio. It is the unique identifier of the audio component. We ha have SRC is the source resource <coughs> adjust to play audio loop um, to see whether to loop controls, whether to show the default controls. Poster. Um, is the image resource address of the audio cover on the default control. If the value of the controls attribute is false, we set poster as invalid. Name, the audio name on the default control. If the value of the controls attribute is false, we set the name as invalid. Author, this attribute, we, um, the name of the author on the default control. If the value of the controls attribute is false, we set author as invalid. We have bind error. Um, yeah, we trigger the error event where never occurs. <coughs> we have bind play. Um, it is triggered. Yeah, it is. It triggers play event when we start or continue playing. We have bind pause. Um, the pause event is triggered when the play back is paused. We have bind time update. Yeah, the event is triggered when the playback progress changes. We have bind ended. The end event is triggered when the playback reaches the end. Yeah, you see we have these attributes, these 12 attributes for this audio component. And among these attributes, 
the return value after the bound error attribute is triggered has four values. We have, <coughs> yeah, these four um, descriptions. Access to resources is prohibited by the user, network error, decoding error, and inappropriate resources. Here we have a simple application. Yeah, I'll just, okay, I'll just show it rapidly. Mm -hmm. You see, as usual, we create our class title. Here it is 11, audio application. Okay, I will just write the basic of this example. View class uh, demo box. And then um, what we can do here, we can, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, just add audio. We get the ID. Uh, for as <laughs> long we set my audio, we can set the poster. Um, okay, RC poster. Um, yeah, poster. And we need to, you see, as we have used these things here, we need to define them in the code. We get the name. Uh, yeah, we can write the author, for example, Jean. Uh, yeah, and now we need to set a resource of it. Controls loop. Yeah. You see here, we have set these um, here controls. It means we will have the, yeah, the default component and loops is, uh, <laughs> it can be concurrently <coughs> played. And what we are do here, we are put what we have yeah, we will define what we have set here, uh, like uh, poster, name, etc. And we need yeah, what we have <coughs> poster. We need to put our picture, and we need to find our audio. Uh, I have prepared one somewhere. Uh, where can I? Okay, I may put it. I have just put something here. Boom. Yeah, a picture and a video. I'll put it just in our project. I'll put it just here. And you see when we put the file there, we have, uh, yeah, they are shown here, A, B, C, and P3. And normally I have Mona Lisa. Yeah, Mona Lisa here. And we need to set these data in JS file. <coughs> in JS file, uh, in the part, data part. Um, yeah, we set the poster. Where have we put it? We have just put it in, yeah, at the root. So it's like this. And uh, yeah, this one, Mona Lisa JPG. And uh, this is for this one. And we need to set the name. Uh, what we can call it? Play, play. 
asset uh, <laughs> whatever also hey just that i have put also oh la i have just to put something wrong i think here i put dream but just to, then i have done something different in here what i have done yeah also it is also oh also in our variable name and in JS file, we need to define it. And we need to get the resource of this um, music. And the root, ABC, yeah, okay. So we just do it like this, it's okay. Mm, what else? We don't need other things. Yeah, just like this. And we will see. Yeah, have you seen it? Yes, Laoshi. Yeah, thank you, Saddam. We have Mona Lisa. We have this. Or, and if we click here, it is, uh, yeah, it begins to play. Yeah, you can try. And here it shows the, um, the second. Yeah, this is this example. And then we all see a next component, a next media component, image. Image is our image component. And we can use this component to display local or network images. We have a default size of 300 pixels and a height of 225 pixels. We have the corresponding attributes of this component in this table. One, two, three, four, five. We have these five attributes. Yeah, you see resource. This attribute is the picture resource adjust. We have mode to picture crop, uh, cropping and zooming mode. Let's load. Image lazy loading only valid for image sounder page and scroll view. Find error when an error occurs, the name of the event posted to this event object like this. We have found load. When the image is loaded, the name of the event posted to app device and object uh, is like this. Pay attention, the mode attributes of the image component is used. We use this component to control the cropping and the zooming of the image. Input of different valid values. We have 13 modes to be yeah, uh, format formed here. We have four zooming modes. Here, scale to fill, aspect fit, aspect fill, wise fixed, wise fixed. And we have nine cropping modes top, bottom, center, left, right, top, left, top, right, bottom, left, bottom, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we have the description of each value. For scale to fill, we scale the image without maintaining the, the aspect radio so that the width and height of the image are fully stretched to the fill the image element. We have aspect fit. We keep the, the aspect radio on 
ratio and we zoom the picture so that the long side of the picture can be fully displayed. In other words, the picture can be displayed completely. We have aspect fill to keep the aspect ratio zoomed in and out of the picture and only ensure that the short side of the picture can be fully displayed. In other words, this picture is usually only in the horizontal or vertical direction is complete and the other direction will be intercepted. We have the zoom mode wise fix. The wise does not change. The height changes automatically. We keep the original image aspect ratio unchanged. Can you see here these high crop mode pop? Oh yeah, we do not zoom the picture and we only show the top area of the picture. Button is just the button area of the picture, center, the middle area of the picture. Oh, uh, and then we have the left area, the right area, the left top area, right top area, left button area, and the right button area. We have these different parts of the picture. Yeah. Now we have a example. So it's a simple application of the video component, component image. In this example, we use this material picture, Mona Lisa. Um, okay, I'll, I, have put, I have put it in our, uh, yeah, in the root folder. So it's a different path. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we know that this picture comes from Da Vinci's more uh, famous painting, Mona Lisa. And um, yeah, we ha I have put the original picture in the file. We are trying to realize this. Yeah. Lachey. Yeah. Uh, your voice is not exactly clear. I think there is some interference. Oh, it's plain. <laughs> it was a plan. Is it okay now? Is it okay now? It's yes, no. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you see here in this a simple application of the small program material. Oh, here we have six different modes, and here six another, and we have one. <clears throat> so in total, in this example, we have tested those thirteen values of, um, yeah, those thirteen modes. Yeah, we are see this. Uh, we are see them together for this image component. Is that the title? Um, 12, image um, application. Okay, I think we will get long codes here as we have searching. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we are just to do something like, oh, it's pretty long. And we, oh, okay. In order not to create too many, too much files, we may just put it here as we, yeah, uh, we have just a few components to be due till here. We have
demo box. Mm, it's the first part. The first one is scale to scale to feel. Sorry, we put the component image. We get the resource of the image. We put it here in this variable. And then mode, we set it there, yeah, just scale to here. Normally, we can complete it automatically. No, not here. Okay, image, and then we, uh, yeah, we'll write our, we'll just write our description. Not keep ratio. Mm. Fit the picture, the image totally okay. for the first one, first mode. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay. Oh, you see, we'll change it. two, three, four, five, okay. Mm, for the second one, that is aspect fit. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can take a picture of these different modes and then do the you do it here. Aspect feet. Sure. Then long side is totally shown. The third one. It's our aspect of your um, we keep ratio and the short side is sorry, short side is totally shown. Fourth one, we have the Y fix. The mode. Y unchanged. Mm, height changed automatically automatically mm, yeah keep okay keep ratio fifth is the top uh, 
And we put this one. Mm. Not keep Rachel. And only show the top area of the image. Here is this uh, one, and then we have top button left middle left right mm. here are, here are five six seven eight nine yeah maybe i'll continue Eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, yeah, it is the top, and then here is the button. And then we have the center. The left. The right. Oh yeah, you can. Um, yeah, they are mechanic. Yeah, and um, top left. But yours, uh, it's nearly finished. You, you will see uh, those different effects. Top right. Top right area. Top and L. Oh, what's wrong with my? Top right, short top. Yeah, and in fact, it's not top, it's button. And then we have the left. Button left, button left, button left area. Yeah, okay. These 13 modes are set totally here. And then we can, what we can set and what we need set it, we can at first set the image. We set it in which SS file. We set the image the wise two hundred and sixty PX. We set the height also two hundred and sixty PX. Mm. In JS file, we can also we can we need we need to set the source of our picture. 
we put it in data. Um, we get, oh yeah, it's just a poster. Okay, we can get it directly. Uh oh, we can all see it. Okay, Mona Lisa, yeah. All right, everything is okay. And we'll see the effect now. We'll see. You need some time to show, I think. Normally they will be shown here. Is it shown? Still not shown here. Normally they should be. They should be shown here. Wait a moment. Perhaps it's uh, just uh, at now. Just replay it. Wait for a moment. Yeah, this is shown as RC is here, and we put. Oh yeah, here we need to, as we here we have another SRC and we will create some errors here. Oh, oh. Just to... Yeah, have you seen it? Oh, <laughs> scale to fit, aspect fit, aspect feel, Wise feet, top, button, center, left, right, top left, top right, button left, button right. Is it clear? For these uh, different modes of uh, image component. So Lashi, if we want to change the aspect ratio, we just have to edit it in the XML file. If you want to change the ratio? Yes. Uh, you can use, you see in, yeah, uh, scale to fit, you can change the ratio and um, yeah, it's the first one. Okay, you see here, it is changed. And we have uh, here, what is kept is the wax of this image is stretched to fill the whole space, the wax. Mm, okay, Laoshi, I see. Kamru Zama is not here. Okay. Do you have some problems um, towards this image component? Yeah, regarding to this component. No, that was Okay, thank you, Kaya. Then we will pass to, um, to the next one. The next uh, component. Yeah, next component is <coughs> A. Sorry. Yeah, uh, you see we have these uh, certain modes. And then <clears throat> the next one is the video component. And this component, this video component 
it, we can use it to play local or network video resources. Its default wise um, is 300 pixels and the height 225 pixels. We have some common attributes here corresponding to this component. Yeah, you see we have these uh, attributes. We have SRC to show the resource address of the video to be pl played. We have initial time to specify the initial playback position of the video. We have the duration to specify video duration. We have controls to see whether to display the default playback controls, um, play ports <coughs> button, playback progress time, etc. We have demo list. Um, demo is the bearish list. Um, yeah, demo is in. If you, uh, um, if you see some videos, usually there will be some pop up, pops up, and we call them demo in Chinese. Yeah, we have demo list, demo button, um, enable demo, uh, demo button. Whether to dis display the bearish button, it is already valid during initialization and cannot be changed dynamically. Demo, uh, enable demo, whether to display the bearish, it is already valid during initialization and cannot be changed dynamically. Auto play, whether to play automatically, we have loop to see whether to loop. We have muted, uh, whether we play the video in mute. We have page gesture in non for screen mode. Whether to turn on the brightness and volume adjustment gestures. We have the direction. We set the direction of the video in for screen. And if it is not specified, it will be automatically judged according to the, to the aspect radio, ratio. Valid values are zero. 19, minus 19, we have show progress, uh, show for screen button, show play button, show center play button, whether to show the full screen button, display the play button in the control at the bottom of the video, whether to show the play button in the middle of the video, whether to turn on gestures to control progress, object fit, when the size of the video is inconsistent with the size of the video container, the form of the video yeah. poster, the image network resource address of the video cover, if the value of the controls attribute is a force, we set poster as invalid. We have bind play, trigger play event when start continue playing, bind ports, the pause event is triggered when the playback is paused. We have bind ended. The, the ended event is triggered when the playback reaches the end. Yeah, you see we have bind um, time update, bind for screen change, bind waiting, bind error triggered when the video is buffered, when there is an error in video playback. Yeah, you see we have so many attributes for these video component. And here we have <coughs> a, uh, a simple application of the small program. Yeah, we'll pass it, you can try to make it. And we have camera. Okay, perhaps we will, yeah. You see for this camera, it is, the system cam camera component, and it is supported by the basic library and the lower versions needs to be compatible. When, test, when we test on a real machine, the user needs to authorize this one. And yeah, yeah, uh, we have a, when we preview it, we have a pops up window and we need to choose authorizing the camera. The common attributes corresponding to this component are shown here in this table. We have mode, device, um, position, 
a flash scan area bind the stop, bind error, bind scan code. We have these attributes. Yeah, you see here, we have a simple application of the small program media component camera. Um, yeah, perhaps it's better that you you look at at first this one, uh, these these attributes, and then which yeah um yeah you see this attribute mode we have uh yeah valid values and normal scan code uh like yeah we have two valid values normal and scan code device position we have two value front or back um. Uh, we have flash, oh uh, yeah, flash is on or off. We have the scan area, scan code to identify and to identify the area. We have the format like this, X, Y, W, H. X, Y are relative to the, the upper left corner of the camera display area. W, H are the width of the area. The unit is pixels and it is only valid when mode is scan code. We have bind stop. The camera is triggered when it terminates abnormally, like existing, exiting the background. We have bind error. It is triggered when the user is not allowed to use the camera. Bind scan code. It is triggered when the one dimensional code is successfully recognized and only takes effect when we have this mode. Um, yeah, we have this um, small example. Oh, perhaps I'll just, uh, oh, sorry. I'll just do this example with you rapidly. You see here, oh, this is the, uh, a certain view class title, a certain section, and we have video application. We have view class demo box. Um, we set, okay, we set a, a subtitle, view class um, title, um, open camera. Then we set the camera device position, which use, uh, for example, bike, and then we use flash, uh, yeah, we set it as off. We use the style of it. We set the width of it. Uh, we set it as 100% uh, mm, and the height, 100% and the height. We set 300 pixels. And then, um, yeah, here we have set this. And then, yeah, we can set our button. Um, just like before, primary uh, with the green color. We set our bind tab. Uh, we use the take photo. Yeah, it's. Um, take photos. And then we put the image. We have the mode.
Mm. Yeah, you see, we'll take the image and we'll, um, we'll store them. That's why we have these uh, code here. And then we need to set in JS file, we need to put the quality, et cetera. We set our, yeah, as we have a bind, bind tab, a function take photo, we need to define this function take photo. Mm, have this yeah okay in fact the here uh, we need to, at first um when we onload this page we need to create a camera context so we need to find the onload function and here we set the yeah we have this abbreviation this variable to show way xing bian create camera context yeah and then we we can use it directly here now Take photo, we use this um, function, and then we put the function here. We use, oh, yeah, we use, we can set the quality. High quality and success. Mm. Yeah, we set data. We get um, the resource. Mm. Yeah, here it's just a we take, when we take picture, we will store it there, mm, temp image path. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, uh, pay attention here. It's better that you use your phone to preview. As when we use our mm, PC, it may not work with the camera. Can you see it's here? Oh, we take pictures here. Take pictures and and yeah here it's not shown but if you use your phone it will be shown directly as you see in this wishing ml yeah in this file we have a camera component yeah here we have a camera component and this camera component to open the camera and we have set the front of the back camera and we have um take off the flash uh we have find tab find this event take photo we use we, when we click this button we will realize this function yeah and later we have this image component to show uh, the photo, the preview of the photo. Yeah, you can you can try it with your. Oh yeah, here when we use this one, SRC. Okay, perhaps it's not better. It's not good to use it to say for several times. Uh, before, uh, it was in JS file. This one, I need to put it here. That's why, that's why here we preview this photo. 
And if you set it correctly, normally you need to, <coughs> when, you take, when you take pictures, you are sure your pictures, yeah, you will, um, and those pictures will be shown later. Okay, this is this camera application. Then we have the next component, map components. Map com this is a map component. And according to the specified center longitude and latitude, we can use 10 cent map to display the corresponding lot. Yeah, you see here we have these attributes. We have longitude, center longitude, latitude, center latitude, scale, and the zoom level, the value range, the default value, markers, cover, polyline, circles, contours, include the two points, short location, find markers, marker tag, find chord tab, find control tab, etc. These uh, event handler. Now we will try a very <laughs> Simple um, example, <laughs> you see here, we can just well put the, okay, for, for Beijing, we have the latitude like this, seven, nine, four, zero, latitude, latitude and longitude we have like this, for zero. Yeah, we have these map. Yeah, you see here, this we can show it directly here. This is for Beijing. Yeah, have you seen it? This is for Beijing. And we can change it for Ganzhou. You can also uh, set the style of this map. Oh, we can set 100%. We set the height of it, 600. Mm, here, here is for Beijing and we can put another for Ganzhou. Uh, for Ganzhou is, uh, mm, Ah, uh, yeah, I have searched for it. Oh, yeah. And this one is four, nine, four, zero, two, seven, eight. Yeah, here is for Ganjo. We'll see the effect. Oh, oh, yeah, you see here it's for Beijing and for Ganzhou is here. It's not, uh, here, it's not clearly shown here. But have you seen it? Or oh, I can just uh, delete this one and you will see it more clearly. Is it okay? Here, it's near our university. Our university oh, okay. is just uh, here. Yeah, you can try this practice. Yeah, this Excel science is with your country. And this is uh, uh, for our assignment. Um, do you have some questions till here, or you can practice it now? Practice this map. Oh. Do you have some questions still here? No, Laoshi. Okay, thank you. You can, uh, do you want to practice this map now or I'll set it as a assignment? I think it's better as an well, assignment. I'm trying to do it now. Pardon? I'm sorry? 
Kaya wants to do it now. I want it as an assignment. Your choice. Excuse me, I didn't, perhaps there's some noise. I didn't hear you clearly. You want to try it now? Or just I'll set it as an assignment. I want to try it now, love. Sure. Okay, so we'll take several minutes, perhaps three minutes. Yes. Now she may may I PC or waging ML quickly. Excuse me, Kaya. Pardon, Kaya. May I PC or waging ML quickly? I want to look at the code quickly. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Just to hear, it's very easy, <laughs> but you need to know the latitude and longitude of your, uh, yeah, of your country, of, uh, of mm -hmm. your position. All right, thank you, Lashi. You're welcome. I'll set your, oh, sorry.
Now, she can I quickly see your um, JavaScript code? Which code? Oh, Jezebel. Yes, okay. love. Uh, I have just. Uh, what's the problem with your code now? It it won't run the map. Strangely enough. That's, in fact, if you want to show your map, you don't need to add something here. You just use the mm. map component. You don't need to set JS file. You see, sure. have, maybe it's still loading. Yeah, maybe it is. Uh, yeah, I have I have just set this this one. Uh, and I, what I have done is also set, but it's, it is not necessary. I have set the style of the map. Okay, now, now, now I'm seeing it. It's, it's loading. It's loading quite slowly. Oh. Maybe if I set the style, it would be a bit easier. But yeah. it works. It, it works. Perfect. Yeah, perhaps it works. Yes, Any other? Yeah. Do you have some problems still here? Some questions? You see, it's not difficult to realize it, and I have put it as an assignment. To real um, to show your position and <coughs> and are also to realize those certain modes of our picture. So you you need to you need to prepare an image by yourself and you try the certain modes of the uh, image. Uh, okay, is it clear? As a as a uh, uh, an assignment. Yes, Aushin. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Do you have some questions still here? No, everything is really clear, Aushi. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we may stop here. Yeah, um, we are past the vacation. And uh, yeah. um, we may say see you next week. Have a good, yeah, have a good time. Bye-bye. Okay, Aushi, bye. Bye, Aushi, bye, Aushi. Bye, thank you. Um, enjoy it.